I'm Emily and you're watching Day by Day Vlogs. I'm from England, we've had lots of snow just now and compared to yours it's nothing but for us it's a big deal. So I'm going to show you all my pets. So unfortunately at the moment every one of my pets are sleeping but I'll just tell you what they are. I have a Rottweiler called Bear, a Chihuahua called Oreo, a hamster called Coda and a couple of goldfish called Alfie and Charlie. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I also have a school horse that I ride and his name is Dave. He is a pure black cob with white feathers. Hope you enjoy. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It's 20 after 12. It seems like every day it's getting later and later I start the video. We got home so late last night and then so late and then we had to edit the vlog which is like at least three hours. And then, yeah, even the girls went to bed super late. But anyway, we are up and we did not just get up. But you know what happened? I have to tell you this quick story. The craziest thing happened. So uh, I, uh, you guys know I'm a diehard Daily Bump fan. I love their family. I love their videos. I've been watching them. They inspired me to start vlogging. I used to watch and Brian would be like, yeah, I'm starting the vlog so late today because I had a couple of business calls. And I'd be like, I wish I had business calls. And that was before I even started vlogging. And today, today I had my very first business call. We have worked with brands before, you guys have seen. And it's been super fun, but all of our transactions have been through email and stuff. And today I have my very first business call. And it lasted 35 minutes and it went so good. And the lady literally was the most amazing lady that you could ever meet in the history of the world. She rides horses, she trains horses, she's a huge in the horse world actually and she totally was such an amazing woman to talk to and she gave us such good advice and anyway it was amazing and I loved it and it was exciting and if it sounds like I'm bragging I don't mean to it just was like a, such a huge accomplishment for us and I feel like proud I feel proud that I can't even believe we ever I even got to this spot like, I just want to thank you guys so much for everything that you um, do for us. From all the comments, to the views, to the love and the support. And I just want to thank you guys so much. But anyway, moving on. This girl is making a video, mm -hmm. right? This girl is making a video, right? And this girl is trying to get the house clean because I feel like I haven't cleaned it in days. The most exciting thing that we did not share with you guys yet is that yesterday um, Sam answered an ad on Facebook recently and yesterday we picked up, you guys gonna show it? On our way home from Niagara Falls, we picked up. We picked up a saddle. We picked up a used saddle. It is true. Oh so this is it and the reason that we bought it was because it's 18 inches We don't know if it's gonna fit our horse now our horse our new horse. We don't know anything It might not fit any of our horses, but it's gonna fit me and that is a huge thing because I want to go back to English writing I really want to master it anytime I come up with something that's really hard for me And I can't do it. I feel like Gabby and I just want to master it So the funny story about the saddle I'm gonna try and make it brief is that Sam talked to this girl blah 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 She was selling two saddles and we wanted one and the girl couldn't um, meet with us because she had some place to go so her mom met with us so we met with the mom and it was like the worst time of the day we had been driving for hours we were all uncomfortable uh, Nick just called me and said he let Ruby out and she ran off Nick and Ruby are do not they do not connect very well Ruby doesn't like Nick and she ran off and I'm like Nick you have to go get her and he's like oh, I tried calling her I tried everything and she won't come and then I was panicking that my dog was gone missing and I was like devastated because that dog has yeah like you've no idea how amazing that dog is with us anyway um, so then the Sam was out there I was on the phone with Nick and Sam was talking to the lady about the saddle we met at a donut store so then Gabby decided she loved the brown, the darker saddle. And I was like, I like the darker saddle too, but it won't fit me. And I need something that I can ride in. And so I wanted the bigger saddle. And so Gabby was like, so serious. She's like, I want this one. I'm like, well, I want this one. And Sam was like, well, I kind of like Gabby's better. And I'm like, okay, well you guys decide. Like, 
one fits me, one doesn't fit me. It's fine. I don't I don't care. Like I don't have to have like don't like I don't I honestly didn't care. Like just get whatever one you want. But we're like arguing in front of the lady and the lady thinks we're crazy because we could not decide. I'm like all stressed out. Finally I'm like, okay, you guys decide. I'm gonna go back in the car because I wanted to text Nick and say, like, did you get her dog back? It was just the worst situation. We were not at our best. So we get the saddle. Sam agrees we should get the one that fits me because that's what we were kind of buying it for. And we get the saddle and we get in the car and we were just driving away. And the girl who had been messaging Sam messaged me and said, hey, did my mom pick up the saddle? Or did my mom like, deliver the saddle yet? And I'm like, oh yeah, she should be home soon. And she's like, I just have a question. Are you guys day by day vlogs? And then I started laughing because like, how would she figure that out? So anyway, she said, that she was at her semi-formal dance at school and she just happened to check on the profile of the guy who had messaged her at the beginning. I don't know, maybe she was worried that her mom wasn't home and that's it, because we took so long arguing, we kept the lady so long. I don't know what happened, but anyway, she figured it out by Sam's profile picture on his Facebook page and she's like, I can't believe I didn't come. <laughs> Anyway, it was so funny that we like were terrible fighting with the, in front of this poor lady and then it turns out that it was a subscriber's mother and yeah, so that's how we got the saddle. And I'm gonna tack my horse up. So yeah, let's go. So I use a blanket for a saddle pad. And then I use another saddle pad for a hack pad. And then I put on the saddle. And then you do up the girls, but I don't have a girls to do up. And fix the shots. Now all you need to do is walk around and get on. <coughs> and then you can go trotting. Hand train. So that's it for how I tack up my toy horse. So the beast from the east is hitting Europe. The witch from the west hit us last night. Fun from the west. Sophie says it's the fun from the west. But it was spring here for the shortest time and now we're back to snow. There goes me and going outside with my coat undone and no mittens on. We're back to having to bundle up and that is terrible. We are off to do a little bit of shopping while we're gone. I want you guys to watch and see what happened last night when Gabby tried a mare. I am super excited to see what you guys think. See if you guys think the same thing that I think and what Sam thinks. Do you think the same thing that I think? We don't know, we haven't talked. <laughs> He's been at work all night. But anyway, I'm excited. So in the comments below, tell us what you think about both the thoroughbreds. They're both thoroughbreds, a male and a gelding. And tell us what you guys think. We are about to see horse number two. She's a 16.2 hand high mare. She again is a thoroughbred. That's all we can find right now are thoroughbreds. Um, she is good for a lesson horse. I can't remember. I don't know all the statistics anymore because it's all jumbled up in my brain, but we're just about to arrive. I call you up in the middle of the night. Been bothered by dreams, ain't feeling all right. You give me comfort, say just give it some time. By the end of our talk, I'm feeling just fine. You and I will always know where we belong. This ain't no ordinary love we got going on. I pick you up in my 59 Ford. We head on down the road until we get bored. Just you and me. 
I'm falling Don't know what it is you do to me, yeah Where you go? I follow Let's go out and dance the night away Going like one, two, three, four Five, six, seven, eight Dance the night away I am ready for that heartbreak That's usually how it goes I have done a billion mistakes before Cause now I just wanna hold you close to me I really like you Hannah DeRoche. I know how to say that name because I had a friend and his last name was DeRoche. And you know what she says? What? I vote Sam Squad. <clears throat> Hashtag Sam Squad. That's what I pick as comment of the day. <laughs> and I know I have a couple of fans out there, but okay. So next comment goes to Alexandra Crampton. And she says, are you guys getting two horses? One for Gabby, one for Sophia. Are we getting yes. two horses? Yes. Are we? We're getting four. Four? Yes. Anyways, Eventually, right now we're four. looking for Gabby. But if we happen to come across one that so is good for Sophia, we will get Sophia one. Mm -hmm. Right? Maya Crumpton. And actually it goes to a lot more people because they all say the pretty much the same thing. I think this horse would be great fit for Gabby. The mare? No. The boy? The boy, I think. But, how about you, now that you've watched the video of <laughs> Gabby on the mare, how about you tell us now what is a better horse fit? The, we didn't get to jump uh, when we saw the mare because they're afraid for legal reasons or something. I don't know, they made up some excuse, but... But if we decide to look at that, if we decide to pick the mare, we'd have to go and jump her, obviously, right? Yes. Yep. And hopefully bring Fiona, because I 
yeah, feel right. a lot more confident. Um, she was like sidestepping because the shadows over there. Yeah. Plus, not... plus. She was only there for us to test. She's not really used to that arena. She just was at that arena for this one time. And it was dark. I don't know why the other lights weren't on. I don't know why, but she was in unfamiliar territory. Um, but, you know, she did actually pretty good in the dark. Yeah. And scared of everything, really. Yeah. Plus, there was a snowstorm happening outside at the time. <laughs> so, it was really dark. Yeah. Anyways, uh... Okay, now can you end it? Because we want to play with their Oh, we're going to play Schleich. Alright, that's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye! Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.